What's up, Warriors? Welcome back to another episode of GTV, your number one source for all news, sports reports, and announcements here at GHS. Today is Friday, April 28th, 2017, and I'm your host, Hunter Martin. And I'm Maddie Miller. First off today, we have some pictures from the Oregon Shakespeare Festival. Let's roll it. The trip to the Ashton, Oregon Shakespeare Festival was exciting. Students from Galt High School were able to see fascinating plays and interact with actors after their play Noises Off at the Oregon Carbet Theater. Not only that, students were also allowed to explore the beautiful town of Ashland and visit gift shops, bakeries, restaurants, and see small monuments. The first play scene was Julius Caesar, in which the audience had enjoyed exceptionally. Others expressed their excitement towards the performance and told each other about how well the play was performed. In my personal opinion, the first act was not as interesting as the second. However, almost all of the audience had stood in standing ovations as the house lights drew up and the actors took their bows. After that, Shakespeare in Love was one of the most heartwarming and hilarious plays that students had seen. Dramatic lighting and detailed costuming took the audience into the realm. It was certainly the most entertaining. Actors on stage were able to yank on heartstrings and find a lot of comic relief. The final performance was Mahoda, a media in Los Angeles, a dramatic play revolving around a family's hardships at achieving their dreams. Many in the audience were charmed by the humor in the family and were left dazed at the climax of the performance. Quickly ended. Thanks for those wonderful pictures, Nona. Now here's a Better Choices segment with Richard. I found this on the floor and I want to make sure it gets back to the owner. Okay, thank you. I'll make sure it gets back to the rental okay. owner. Okay, thanks. thanks. Thank you, Richard, for reminding us to return and not take. To open up a new opportunity. Here is our comedy co corner with Chase and Christian and Jeremy. Joe, did you see my Snapchat story last night, though? No. <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Hold up, man. Is that a door? What do I do? Do I knock on it? I, I don't know. Oh god! Oh god! Where are you going? going? Come on, we gotta find that door! There it is. I guess I'll knock this time. Jeez! You really need to stop jumping my arms. I know. I can't believe we've been out here for hours trying to find this freaking door, man. It's ridiculous. I don't think it's gonna be here. Uh, I'd second guess that. You gotta be freaking kidding me, man. In the middle of a football field, are you kidding me? Come on, I only Who put the door out here? I only come out here like when it's like. Who puts the season. door out here? I don't know. I bet it has that kid in the hole. push the door. No, 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 no. Who says you have to go through the door, man? Why don't we just go around it? Hey, how you doing? Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Get him! Dude, what are you doing? Every time we do a text title with a transition, you ruin it. I can't believe it's been like two days and we still can't find this stupid door. I thought it was like a week. Same thing, practically. Oh, I need to go back Cool. Dude, the door's in here. Wait, what? Yeah, no. the door's in the light at Magician, he's gone again. We gotta find that door. All right, let's go then. Uh, I 
can't see how we can't find the stupid door. It's been two days. It was even in a bathroom stall. How does it, how, how does it move? It, it wobbles. It's a door. It's flat. But who's that kid? I don't know. I haven't seen him before. I'm going to call him, him Silver so But yeah, you can call him Silver Bay. Stop! Oh my god! You know, man, I, I give up. You know, we've been looking for this door for like two days. Obviously, Becca's not going to get her door back. And I don't want a door. Because I... Isn't that the door right there? Well, uh... Shoot. Um... How did he get the door to disappear last time? Oh, he snapped. Okay. Alright, one, two, three. See, I told you. Isn't this like, like a door to opportunity type thing since you know, he had the door? Lost the door. Yeah. So let's seize this opportunity you know, and get him. I like that idea. Davey, come on. Ah! 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 No! No! Ah! No! I got Well done, guys. Next off, we have an advertisement with Jeremy and JJ about staying safe on the road. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, dude! Oh, what, what happened? What'd you do? I think I hit the curb. Oh, that was cool burnout. Are though. you guys all right? I, I think so. Oh. What happened? I was chilling off and I hit the curb. Oh man. You should go to all good driving school, dude. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I'll teach you how to drive behind the wheel. Yeah. Thank you. Now we have a random interview segment with JJ. All right, what's up, Warriors? I'm here with Ian Reese, um, one of the coaches for Powder Puffs. So, Ian, how do you think you guys did? Uh, I think we did pretty good, considering we practiced uh, two hours beforehand, and, I mean, considering it was all kind of thrown together, we pulled it off fairly well. Um, from my understanding, you coached uh, seniors and freshmen, and I heard that seniors went into a tiebreaker. Yep, we ended up, it was tied 7-7, seven to seven, and then in, in the overtime tiebreaker, seniors pulled through. All right, thank you for your time. All right, what's up, Warriors? I'm here with Adrian Mello, one of the referees from the last Powder Puff game. So, um, Adrian, how do you think it went? It was really good. Had a great time, experience. Uh, how do you think they played, honestly? Um, they played great. They played very great. I liked how they played good sportsmanship, you know? All right, um, who, ended up, who ended up winning? The red team, the sen seniors and the freshmen. Um, was it a close game, or how did it go? It was a very close game. They, almost, they went into overtime, and we had a run. All right, thank you. All right, what's up, Warriors? I'm here with Julia Martin. Um, one of the Powderpuff players, she played for the senior team. Julia, how do you think you guys did? Uh, I think we did amazing. It's sad we didn't get to keep playing, but you know what? Everything has to come to an end, and I'm just happy with the results. Um, how do you guys think you guys played as a team? Uh, we worked really hard as a team, and so did the other team, and it was just a great game. Okay, and one more question. Um, did you guys win? I guess technically yes, but, you know, I don't think a race is justifies as winning so I I keep it as a tie so All right, um, last question do you think they should continue doing powder puff I really do think they should and it'd be a cool tradition to keep going okay thank you for your time how would you answer that Maddie I don't know it's a tough one you know it's also a tough question should I be scared to answer this question no but the question is just how you're gonna pay for college but thanks to Eric Anthony Marky and Jonathan we're going to learn about some scholarships you can apply for do you want to make money for going to school when the scholarships are for you? There are plenty of scholarships out there, some for sports, other for grades, but there are other scholarships out there that many people don't know about. These are some examples of these scholarships that most people probably don't know about. First, there's a prom guide cutest couple contents worth $1,000. There's also these scholarships as well, Clowns of America International Scholarship. 
Common Knowledge Challenge Scholarship, $3,000. Doodle for Google Scholarship, $30,000. American Fire Sprinkler Association Scholarship, $2,000. National Potato Cancel Scholarship, $10,000. Scholarship Red, $500. Wholesale Halloween Costume Scholarship, $500. Thanks for that, guys. Now here are sports with Lewis. PN. Uh, probably the triple jump. All right. Um, how fast could you com complete that objective? Oh, I jumped about 39 feet. As far distance? Yeah. I don't think I could do that. How did you train so well to do that? Um, just working on my form and working on my explosiveness. All right. What's something you would like to improve on over time? Uh, just my form with my arm movements. Just incorporate more arm workouts. All right. Well, thank you for the interview. No problem. Yo. Okay, we're good. Okay, I'm here with Rogelio. Okay, you do track, is that correct? Yes. Okay, what category do you compete in? Um, I'm in the sprints. Sprints? Okay. What do you believe is your strong suit overall? All the categories. Uh, the 200 meter. 200 meter. How fast can you do that? Uh, 2508. That's pretty good. Do you think you're the best at it? No. Who is the best? Uh, don't recall. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you for this interview. Thank you. PB and J's don't make them, so. Finally, here's <laughs> Maddie with some updates on the trap team. This is Galt District's first year doing a trap team, G-A-L-T Shooters, which stands for Galt and Liberty Trap. Trap shooting is a sport that when someone says pull, a clay disc is launched out of a single house or machine at which the shooter points and fires at once. All school age youths in grades 12 and under with a minimum GPA of 2.0 with no Fs are eligible to participate. Unfortunately, this year's signups are over, so this is a reminder for next year. And on behalf of myself and Maddie Miller, as well as the rest of the GTV production team, we'll see you back here next time. Keep it classy, Galt High.